If you see a sock on top of a car dashboard this winter, here's what it means. Winter can be a beautiful time, but it can also be a particularly dangerous time of year as well. People get sick and furthermore roads ice over. This causes a number of accidents per year for various reasons. But one woman made a massive difference to the world by discovering something incredible. This will keep a lot of people safe for years to come. But what she used to create this safety device is unreal. Being a mom is one of the hardest jobs in the book, but not for Sophia. Sophia was what you'd call a mommy inspiration. She made mom life look like a walk in the park. But there was one thing that made her jump. She was always concerned with her children's safety. And this is only intensified when something dramatic happened. And it all took place one winter's night in South Dakota. Aberdeen, South Dakota. This city is cited in America's top 10 list of coldest places to live. In the coldest months of the year, average temperatures reach a frigid maximum of 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can imagine, this makes winters there particularly unbearable. But Sophia didn't mind. This was the town she called home, and she loved it dearly. But all of that would change one day. Sometimes things that are a rite of passage aren't always good news. Sophia's eldest son was hosting his very own sweet 16th birthday bash that weekend. This was a bittersweet moment for Sophia. On one hand, she was so proud of the young man he'd grown into. But in the other, it all seemed to be passing her by so quickly. Together, her and her husband had diligently saved to give their boy what he'd always dreamed of, his very own set of wheels. But this was a grave mistake. The party was legendary. Sophia's son, Sven, had never been happier. When it came time for gift giving, his smile only grew wider. Later that evening, he decided to take his new baby out for a spin. But it was mid-January, and the car had been outside all evening. The second Sven got in, condensation flooded the windshield. But he was determined to drive. Rounding one corner, however, since his vision was impaired, he missed something crucial. Suddenly, the car smashed into a telephone pole. Luckily, there was a happy ending to this story. Though Sven had broken his back, doctors were able to operate. Furthermore, no spinal nerve damage had occurred. This meant with months of physical therapy, he would be able to walk once more. Sophia was relieved but irked in the same right. What could have happened to him? This started to get her mind working in a wonderful way. Every winter morning when Sophia entered her car, her windscreen would always be covered in condensation. This was a painful reminder of the near-death experience Sven had had. One morning, Sophia switched on her demister. Since it was so frigid, however, her windshield shattered into tiny pieces. Though it did not fall in, it scared Sophia witless. She had to do something about this problem. And so, she began to hatch up a plan. If at first you don't succeed. Sophia tried all the tricks in the book. Tirelessly, she worked away trying to find a way to make driving in winter safer. A few times she considered throwing in the towel and staying indoors for those three months. But she was a woman of perseverance. The morning after morning, Sophia tried new remedies to correct the condensation. But none seemed to be working. That was until she remembered something her grandmother had told her. Sophia vaguely remembered an old story her grandmother had told her. Though she was old, she claimed to know a thing or two about cars. Sophia had always passed the story off as one of her mad ramblings, but now she desperately tried to remember what it was she had said. Then, out of nowhere, one part of the story came to her. There's something on your windscreen. Sophia kept hearing her grandmother saying, and when you see a sock on the dashboard. Against her better judgment, Sophia placed a sock on the dash. The next morning, nothing noteworthy had happened. Maybe it has to be on the outside, she mused to herself. So the next night, she placed two socks on the outside of her car. The following morning, nothing. What could it have been? As Sophia picked up her house cat, she nearly dropped him as the memory came crashing in. Kitty litter, Sophia yelled. It had all come back to her now. All she had to do was fill an old sock with kitty litter and leave it overnight to do its thing. So she did this. The next morning, remarkably, her windscreen was condensation free. Sophia was thrilled at her discovery. She had to tell everyone about it. And that she did. Now it's commonplace to find a sock on the dash. And making your own dash sock couldn't be easier. 
All you need is one sock, free from holes and in good condition. You also need masking tape and a sack of kitty litter. The best kind is odorless. Otherwise, your whole car may smell like a cat box pretty soon. Open up the sock and pour in the kitty litter until it's completely stuffed. Use the tape to tape up the end. This will ensure no litter falls out. But how does it work? Cat litter is one of the most absorbent things a person can find. Any cat owner will be able to tell you this. As such, when placed on the dash, the litter soaks up any condensation that settles through the night. This makes your mornings more manageable by saving you time from defogging the dash. Who would have thought it? Something as basic as a sock and a bag of litter could make such a difference.